update on the COVID-19 pandemic here in Illinois. 30 more people have died from the virus, and health officials are reporting 2,200 new cases in the past day. Hospitalizations have spiked to the highest number since mid-June, but the state's positivity rate is holding at 3.5%. Here's the data from across the border in Indiana. State health officials announcing 920 new cases and 17 more deaths. The positivity rate, 3.9%. But despite Indiana's higher positivity rate, the state is now preparing to move to phase five of its reopening plan. Let's hear more about it. Dana Rebeck live in Munster with more on this. Dana. Well, the governor is deciding to keep the state's mask mandate in place, but lifting other restrictions. And while bar and restaurant owners are happy about this move, many others feel that this step is coming a bit too soon. We've been busy. I mean, of course, we have to rearrange our chairs. and We get a lot of Illinois people here. And soon they may get even more. The owners of Johnny's Tap in Munster, Indiana, excited the state is lifting COVID-19 restrictions. Because of the progress that we've made over the last not one week, two weeks, three weeks, but um, going back now uh, for a few months as that steady progression has occurred, we'll be able to move on to stage five of our back on track plan. At stage five, all businesses can open at full capacity, including restaurants, bars and nightclubs, gyms and other tourism and entertainment sites. There are no longer attendance limits on sporting events or community gatherings. We all hate these, but you got to do what you got to do. And I know um, no one wants to wear, wants to wear a, a face mask. I mean, this is different, especially for uh, Americans and, and Hoosiers. I get it. It's not my preference either, but it's not my preference that the pandemic is on top of us either. Well, many here are supportive of the changes. Some are concerned given Indiana had its highest daily case count just 13 days ago. I'm worried about what it's going to be now. Mona Callahan concerned it could cause a spike in cases. She feels the governor should have waited longer to fully reopen. I'm a little leery. Um, because I like to sit outside still and I like it when there's not a lot of people. I like to stay away because of my autoimmune disease. Illinois currently has a lower infection rate at 3.5 percent compared to Indiana's 3.9. Governor J.B. Pritzker requiring a vaccine or widely available treatment before moving to phase five. Politics, you know, I mean, what are you going to say? It's uh, the, their, their rules and we have our rules, so we have to follow the rules. I feel sorry for some of the restaurants owners uh, in Illinois, you know, just uh, because it is what it is. Another big difference between the states, the number of tests conducted per day. Lately, Illinois has been averaging between 50 to 75,000 processed, while Indiana is only conducting about 15,000 tests per day. Governor Holcomb says that in three weeks he will reassess where the state is at and if numbers look good, continue on this path. But if cases go up, he says he is not afraid to backtrack to phase four. Live in Munster, Dana Rebick, WGN News.